Hi, in this screencast I'd like to take you just through an overview of the Prezi interface. Let's start by having a look across the top toolbar. So over on the left hand side we have a button that allows us to switch between presenting and editing mode. So you just push on the escape button to get back to the edit mode. You've got familiar undo and redo buttons and obviously a save button and then over in the middle you've got where you can add your media so you can add frames and arrows frames can be visible or invisible and you've also got a highlighter tool which allows for some free drawing or you can just add a frame as a quick standard frame. This next button is where you insert all the different types of media. You can pretty much insert anything. Uh, images can come from an online source, a URL, or from your computer. Lots of built-in symbols and shapes to choose from. And also some built-in diagrams. Quite handy for making presentations. YouTube allows you to just quickly paste in a YouTube link. You've got to be careful that you have uh, correct copyright uh, material there. Or you can upload video as well. You can also keep a collection online so you can reuse uh, pieces of media in different prezzies. You can also import a PowerPoint. However, if it's got a lot of styling involved on it, uh, it'll lose some of that styling and the PowerPoint slides will just come in basically as as uh, flat JPEGs more or less. They don't actually turn into JPEGs but they, they're not editable after, once you've uh, imported them. You can also inc include background music as well and when you're on a um, particular point in the path you can also insert voiceover just through using a microphone headset like I've got now. You can change the template lots of built-in templates you can also customize so you can make uh, your own color theme color schemes and themes here we've got the help menus and just the basic settings you can either choose 4x3 which is useful for some uh, some mobile devices or you can choose 169 which is great for most modern computer screens or you can leave that off altogether and it will just adapt natively keyboard shortcuts you can enable them and the next button is where you uh, share everything you can invite people to edit you can start an online presentation so there's a slight difference between sharing the link to your Prezi and starting an online presentation um, one of them the user will control how they move through it and an online presentation you would control how you move through it whereas the viewer would just be watching you can export it as a portable Prezi or download as a PDF which is effect in effect makes it uneditable so uh, you'd have to be sure that you've you've finished preparing it if you want to do that but it's a great way to share it and of course save and exit gets you back to your library of prezzies let's look at the left hand side now there's a button here which allows you to toggle through edit path mode and basically you can select any of these points in the path and it'll go right to it if you select the little arrow a little star sorry you can animate the frame content and you can see there I've got a, f a one animation applied and you can remove it just by clicking on the red dot with an X in it when you're ready just click done and done again and it'll return you to the main um, main editing mode you can still use this to navigate to a certain area so if you wanted to go back to the home the, the whole view you can choose that first one or if you wanted to go to one of these uh, individual frames and then on the main canvas you'll notice that uh, every element when it's clicked has uh, a bounding box or a boundary box so when you hover over the corner you can drag to resize text has a special uh, another special characteristic where you can obviously double click it and start to um, type in and format the text as well bulleting uh, positioning 
left, center, and right justification, that kind of thing. And the frames also. You can see there's ways to change the visibility of the frame, remove it altogether, or you can zoom to the frame, which allows you to get quickly to uh, somewhere to edit. When you click once, you see you've got uh, this centerpiece, which allows you to resize quickly and roughly and you can also do that in a more fine fine tuning kind of way and if you want to move items around you do need to grab them by the little hand sim symbol in the middle and over here you've got your universal zoom in and zoom out and also home which allows you to view everything on the canvas including the largest frames which may not be visible or even in use